Anthony Fantano has to be one of the biggest music critics in the world, if not just on YouTube. But I feel like his music opinions get way too much weight and people get way too much weight from these YouTubers or personalities they see on YouTube and reviewing these albums that they want to listen to. They give way too much weight to these opinions that other people have instead of giving weight to their own. There are really two different groups in this where there's one group who just takes Fantano or any other big critic like Brad Music Taste, I feel like is another good one in this example. Uh, and they just take those people's opinions and they turn them into their own opinions, which to me isn't that bad. At least they're listening to pretty solid music with a music reviewer they like, but it does get a little bit too much at points. But there is another group, which I feel like is the worst part of this, where they don't actually care about Fantano's opinions but they do care at the same time they say they don't care but they do care a lot where it's like if Fantano gives an album they like a good rating they need it to have a good rating or it's gonna be bad and then when Fantano gives an album they like a bad rating they're like no Fantano how could you give this album I like a bad rating it's just so weird to me and they pretend like they don't care about his opinion but they just really do care too much but I think the the first group is a lot less harmful as they just kind of take Fantano's 10 opinions and they just take them as their own, which isn't really a bad thing, but it's like, oh, The Money Store by Death Grips is such a good album. To Be Kind by Swans is such a good album. To Pimple Butterfly is the best album of the 2010s. And while these people might have listened to the music, I feel like they take Fantano's opinion and just popular opinion in general with like uh, To Pimple Butterfly being the top rated album on Rate Your Music which I don't know if that really would have happened if Fantano didn't give it a 10. I don't know how much weight his opinion has, but I mean, of course, that is a great album in itself, but is it better than uh, some Radiohead albums? I don't know. Either way, I feel like these people aren't really that bad. They take these songs or these albums that they do like, but they kind of overinflate them just due to what Fantano says, and they kind of take his personality and his opinions and kind of make them their own, and a lot of times it'll be like anytime there's a good rating from Fantano, these people on on TikTok or on Reddit will like kind of take their opinions, his opinions as their own. Which, yeah, like I said, I don't think it's a bad thing, but I feel like it is really weird and still like just get your own opinions on albums and don't you don't have to reinforce them because Fantano likes them or because any other music critics likes them. If you like an album, you can rate it as whatever much you want and if you don't like it album you don't have to change your opinion just because Fantano likes it you're not going to have to like Death Grips just because Fantano thinks it's a 10 out of 10 album that just it doesn't make sense like I will say all those albums that Fantano has given 10s are all pretty solid albums you can check out my video here if you want to where I listen to every single one but I think it's more of an bad thing when I saw on TikTok the other day this guy rated like all of his zero albums and every single Fantano album that got a zero was on there which I think is really weird in its own sense but either way I feel like it's more the hate that happens with with these like bad albums and Fantano's opinions on those get taken out of context versus the actual good albums but either way people do just take Fantano's opinions and kind of run with them. I think really the worst part about these people is the second group of people that say they don't care about Fantano's opinions or they pretend like they care too much about Fantano's opinions. It's all these people in like the Fantano comment section, which is really the reason why I made this video on Fantano's video where he reacts to Utopia. Everyone in the comments is like, Fantano's going to say he loves this album, but he's only going to give it a six. It's like, who cares if he gives it a six? Like, I, I don't know why people care so much about Fantano's opinion. If you like the album, you don't need to care about Fantano's opinion. I feel like this is also translates over to people who say they don't care about Fantano's opinion. This is more of the Destroy Lonely and Playboy Cardi and Ken Carson fans. And then get so mad when Fantano gives their favorite album a zero or a one. And then they're like, Fantano doesn't understand Destroy Lonely's music or Fantano doesn't understand Ken Carson's music. Where it's just like, People don't have to like all the music that you like and you don't have to care about what another critic is saying about your music. Like there's no reason to care that much about Fantano's opinion. And I feel like there is like Fantano's kind of playing it up a little bit because I saw this recent clip of um, him with the NFR podcast uh, talking about Utopia and I'll play it now. Hey everyone, Anthony Fantano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of the new Travis Scott album, Utopia. Don't you fucking dare. If you give this anything below a six, we're taking you the fuck out. And this is like part of the reason why I feel like so many people 
take Fantano's opinion so seriously is because he, he kind of does play into it. Like, I know he doesn't really want his opinions to have, like, this mass effect, and he wants people to take his opinions, listen to the album themselves, and form their own opinions on it. But it's so hard to do that when you are so, like, brainwashed into being like, oh, Fantano is, I will say, a great music critic in, a, in himself where he really breaks down these albums, says what he likes, says what he doesn't like, and he just kind of lays it out there for everyone. But people need to take his reviews not as should I like should I like this album it's should I listen to this album when an album by Fantano gets an 8 out of 10 you should be like oh I'll listen to this album and especially if you have similar opinions as Fantano you should be listening to the albums that he likes but if you don't have similar opinions to Fantano why should you care about what his opinion on the next Ken Carson album or even Travis Scott like in this whole opinion it's like If Fantano doesn't like the Travis Scott album, it's not going to take off my liking of the Travis Scott album. Like maybe if he makes some valid criticisms, I feel like maybe I'll like it a little bit less, but it's not like if he gives it a one out of 10, I'm not going to be like, oh, now this album sucks. I'm still going to like Utopia. And I feel like people will still like the albums they like. They just take this guy's opinion way too seriously instead of taking their own opinion and you know, seeing the criticism that the that Fantano actually lays out, and instead of doing that, they just are like, "Oh, he's hating for no reason because he doesn't understand our genre." Maybe he just doesn't like the music that much. And like I said, it's not about him not understanding. He just doesn't like that type of music. Like, not everyone is gonna like metal music. Not everyone's gonna like house music. It's like there are always are gonna be some genres that you're not gonna like. And I feel like Fantano is, if you have similar opinions to him, you're probably gonna like a lot of the same music that he likes. And just being on YouTube, instead of getting your music opinions on YouTube, find a music review person that has similar opinions to you on a lot of similar albums. So they like a lot of the stuff that you like. They dislike a lot of the stuff that you like as well. Or they just listen to the stuff that you know you like. And whenever they like an album, just take it as a music recommendation. And then listen to that album and form your own opinion on it instead of just taking these people's opinion and either hating on them for that opinion instead of listening to what they're actually saying in the actual review or taking that person's opinion and forming your own opinion on that album. I don't know. It just, it it actually irks me so much that people either take these critics' uh, opinions too seriously or they take them Like, they say they don't care about them, and then they also take them too seriously. And it's so weird to me, and even though I am, like, I guess a music critic myself, if you like my reviews and you agree with my reviews, then keep watching them. But if you don't agree with them, then don't watch my reviews. It doesn't matter if I don't like the album if you do. It shouldn't change your opinion on that at all. And you should be never getting your music opinions from YouTube. You should just be using YouTube and places like Rate Your Music as recommendation platforms for what you should listen to. And don't listen to other people, even though they may sway your opinion a little bit. They shouldn't sway your opinion a lot. And just don't let other people change your opinion that much, even if you like an album and they don't.